these are the elevators of the Atrium Office Building in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. They're staying time in 2022. And these are doors with traditional fixtures from the 1970s to 1980s, and they were installed in 1981. Sadly, they have been upgraded on the inside with round innovation universal fixtures from the 2010s. And we are going to start our tour on the main level, which is this level, because as you can see, this building is built on a hill. You do have an entrance down on the lower level facing King of Prussia Mall, and another entrance on this level facing the, facing the parking lot for this office building. And typically, this side is elevator number one, this side is elevator number two. Elevator number one does not work, unfortunately, so we will not be writing this one. We're just going to write elevator number two. Listen to this bell. I love that sound of the bell. So yeah, this level and the upper level have, have the original call buttons. The one downstairs have round and vase universal. Buttons over here. We're going to start off our tour by going down the lower level. Keyword LL. Now go up to UL. And watch out the window. And if you look straight ahead, you can see the King Presser Mall's orange parking garage. Keyword UL. Look at those lights, I like those lights. Now I'll go back down to lower level. And door close to the green push button, I like that. This atrium is absolutely gorgeous. Here back at LL. Let's take another ride. This time we're going to start the more doors closed and watch the numbers the whole trip. Here we go. Let's listen. That's a very nice motor. And this level also has the, has the original call buttons. And obviously I like this one better than elevator number one. Because as you see in the brick walls, elevator number two has the glass back wall, elevator number one doesn't. That's because the MPE wraps around elevator number one. And, and it's also very interesting how this side of the atrium is two levels. This side of the atrium has three levels. Very unique setup. Look, wonder if this arrow works. Nope, the whole entrance doesn't work. Anyway, let's head back down to lower level. Again, door close to the push button.
And here we are back downstairs. And I'll tell you what, let's head upstairs and we can watch it ascend. And up it goes. I also like how you can see inside the elevator shaft, given that the whole elevator shaft is um, open. There's the piston coming out. And here it is upstairs. And over here is the traveling cable. And if you look down here, you can see the safety buffers. Now, obviously, the elevator pit needs to be cleaned up. And it sounds like someone is getting in the elevator, so let's watch it descend. And I'm trying not to get that, cus um, that passenger on camera. And it's stopping at one. Anyway, let's go ahead and call it back down. Here it comes. Now it's leveling. And here it is back downstairs. And I also like how you can get a great view of the opposite side of the elevator doors. Now it's coming up again. And it's stopping at one. And as I was saying, I like how you can get a view of the, of the other side of the outside elevator doors F from, from the other, other side of the glass elevator. Again, there's the piston. And here it is back upstairs. It's just saying that these call buttons got replaced. But I honestly like the, the Dover traditional call buttons better. Oh, I love that bell. We gotta listen to it again once the door closes. All right, now listen to this. Oh, it didn't do it that time. Oh. I hope it works this time. Nope, it doesn't. That's strange, the bell worked a minute ago. Anyway, let's take one more ride and then I'll be it. And we'll get a cab view upstairs. Listen to the hydraulics one more time. Again, this motor sounds very beautiful. And over here is the inspector certificate. If you look on the bottom left corner, you can see that the permit numbers, the first four numbers of the permit numbers say 1981. So that basically means that this office building was built in 1981. And even though these elevators got modernized, this is still a very nice elevator system. I do like the shape of this elevator. And I also like how you can get a very nice view of the King of Prussia Mall through the window. There's the Capitol Grill restaurant, which I believe is part of the mall also. And over here you have round and amazing universal fixtures from the 2010s. Again, these used to be Dover with 1980s, 1970s traditional fixtures. And this is actually elevator number two, according to the, per, uh, according to the equipment number of the inspector's certificate. All right, now one last trip down to lower level. And we'll look down to the atrium. Again, there's the entrance to the lower level parking lot.
Again, this lobby is absolutely beautiful. And I also like how it stops very smooth, too. Alright, now we go back to the main level. Here we are. And even though this building is built on a hill, I still like to call these floors LL, ML, and UL like many three-story buildings. Again, I like that sound of the bell. And there it goes. And that will be it.
The video is over, but it don't have to be. You can always watch more, and you know what to do. And don't forget to subscribe and like that bell. Until next time, bye y'all.